Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Drew and you are watching the Edward Joyner YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys. It's been a little while since I've, I talked to you guys and I miss you guys, man. So we're going to talk a little bit about what's been going on with Edward Joyner, our most recent drop. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the um, campaign video of this mug right here. Do you guys see how much this has grown? Like if you've seen the campaign video, you'll know. And then we're going to kind of get into um, what's going to happen in the springtime. I'm super excited. So if you don't know, Edward Joyner just released two products. We released a mug, a vanilla rose mug, and we released a serenity mug, which is what this is right here. The candles sold out, and I am so, so thankful for you guys um, for selling those out. I mean, every time we've released a candle, we've sold out, and I, I can't be happier uh, with the result of of creating and making candles um you know if if you want to get a candle in the future and you missed out on this opportunity we will be bringing them back in this in the um fall kind of winter time of this year we have we have them planned and slated to, to be reinstated and made in, in in kind of the holiday season of 2021 so um keep your eye out for that obviously it's a long ways away but um, if you missed out you have an opportunity now with the mugs there's still some mugs left and um the mug was something that um was a little bit different for us this year it was a different piece of of um drinkware that we hadn't really released we had done a, a water bottle and now we're doing a mug and we just kind of wanted to test and see you know what you guys think about mugs was it was Will you guys buy mugs? Will Is our audience big enough to buy mugs? All these kind of things go into the thought process whenever we make a product. But also we wanna tell a story. So one of the biggest things that we um, are kind of promoting as a brand this year is this idea of serenity. And so if you haven't seen the campaign video for the mug, it, it highlights the mug growing, and I'll probably put a visual of it, growing in a time lapse um, while a poem is being read over the top of it called The Light. And essentially this poem and, and this visual representation of growth and serenity is to highlight that, you know, you have to nurture the thing that you care about in order to grow for one. And, and then you have to nurture the thing you care about in order to um, or you have to nurture this idea of serenity, I guess you can call it. Um, and that's kind of the that was the whole basis behind the poem and the visual aspect. And it was uh, uh, something that took quite a long time. I'm also going to show you guys kind of the behind the scenes of that. And I'll maybe put images up now. But essentially what I did is, um, what we did is, is I you know, took just store-bought tomatoes, cut, cut, cut them, and then took the seeds out of them. And, and that's how simple it is to really grow a tomato, which is pretty cool. Um, took the seeds out of them, and then made sure they were intact, filled the mug up with uh, soil, and then once I did that, planted the seeds and just began to nurture and water it. And a day went by and another day went by and three days went by and nothing was growing. I was like oh, man this is not gonna work and I was I had the camera up and I was obviously trying to get uh, and capture the time-lapse image of the growth of the mug and I was like oh, man this is taking forever and it didn't actually break through I think until about day eight and so I was almost a week in I was like oh, so this project is not even gonna be exactly what I want it to be but I, I, you know, every day I still watered it, you know, did the things I needed to do, and it eventually broke through and grew, and, and that I got super inspired and wrote the poem called The Light. Um, and I just, I just think it's such a beautiful representation of, of you know, not necessarily knowing what the end of, end of the line is gonna be, or not necessarily knowing if your work or if your um, life or whatever, like 2020 was a very tumultuous year. Not in, in a lot of times, in a lot of ways, people didn't really know, you know, how the year was gonna end right and the um this mug and this project and the idea of serenity for the for, for 2021 is to cultivate a belief system that you know uh you know as long as you put the work in you you still have hope you believe you do the things that you need to do then you can prosper and you can bring serenity into your life and that's something that um is really really big for for the brand this year I mean, something we want to promote i think as a brand um i think that you know we we live in such a time where it's not you know it's not just good enough to be a brand that only cares about making money. I think a lot of times we have to really focus on having an impact, whether it be an impact in sustainability, whether it be an impact on bringing positivity and light to other people around us. That's something I think about quite often as a, as a brand owner, and that's something that you know I'm very very excited to continue to cultivate in um, our business. So let's talk about what uh, we have for the plan, what we have planned for the brand moving forward. Excuse me. So we just dropped off 
um, our newest kind of design piece for spring of 2021 that should be coming out in March. Um, it's not an extensive collection or anything like that. It's a very simplistic collection, simplistic item. Um, it, it's not more than just one item. It is just one item. And so we're, we worked really hard on just trying to perfect this one item. And I think for right now, with where we are as a brand, with the audience that we have, we don't have a huge audience and we do appreciate each and every person. Um, we can't, you know, we can't just make collections and, and, and expect for people to, you know, have that, have that return on investment, you know, for, for making clothing and making products. Um, there's a, there's a true business side of obviously business and, you know, this year we're pushing ourselves to make the smartest business decisions that we possibly can. Whether that means creating items that are a little bit, you know, more affordable and a better price range than, you know, than the, this crew neck and the hoodie. Um, whether it be um, creating products that are just very unique that people haven't seen before that aren't, you know, that, that products that you don't, you know, associate with a, a streetwear or street style or loungewear or whatever you want to call our brand. It's a lifestyle brand in my opinion. Um, but we want to create products that, you know, you can, kind of move they can move in and out of your life in ver in various ways and so those are the kind of products we have set up for this year and we're really excited about that and then also we're going to continue to try to elevate you know our all, all the other aspects of our business from the you know, publication to the podcast to this youtube and, and just kind of tap in with you guys as much as possible speaking of the publication if you're a writer i, I sent we sent out a notice you know if you were a writer who wants to have their voice heard in a publication um i have a lot on my plate and so sometimes i i sometimes push the publication to the side when it really needs its own attention it really needs its own love if you want to write Email us at info at uh, edwardjoiner.com and we'll get back to you. Um, obviously, give us some some of your portfolio or some of your, some of your articles or just some of your ideas that you want to kind of um, showcase on the publication, and we'll get in contact with you and talk to you about it. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was it was fun to get back on uh, the camera and talk to you guys again about Edward Joiner. Um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying you know what you're seeing from the brand, and we'll continue to rock with us, and we we will continue to appreciate you. Um, like I said, the mugs are still available. There are still plenty. And if you want to do this to your mug, um, be, like I would love to see this because this is like, this is so cool. I mean, you can just put this in your home or in your living space and it's, it smells nice and, and it just brings a little greenness to the, uh, um, to the area. So, well, anyways, guys, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you guys in the next video. Love.